welcome to the stage, Benny Johnson. The future of MAGA is here. For Giotto Blow. This shit is hot. Bitch, your president 2024, we coming back. Joe Biden in the crowd taking naps. And his son, how to do it crack. What's going on, Georgia? What's happening? Woo! Look at this! In the words of Jesse Smollett, this is MAGA country, baby! <laughs> Woo! I love Georgia. Hello, Georgia. What? Loud up there, baby! That's my dogs! My dogs up there! Georgia has a fond place in my heart. It's a beautiful place. It's a red state. I don't believe this is a swing state at all. This is a red state. Damn it. And Georgia, I want to say thank you on behalf of the entire internet for giving us the greatest mugshot in the history of the world. That's a backfire. Thank you, Georgia. That was loud. Big Fanny can hear you, boys. Big Fanny getting spanked hard right now. I'm sorry if, if Nathan waves in the audience. I don't, I'm not trying to get you too excited or anything. They're going to jail, baby. They're going to jail. Look what they tried to do to my boy. They tried to ruin his career. They went in, they said, this will ruin his career. We'll give him a mugshot. What they ended up giving him was the cover of a rap album. You, all you have to do is add a parental advisory sticker. And this is the hardest track of the summer. I got, have y'all seen rappers actually getting this tattooed on them? You, do, does anybody know someone with a Trump mugshot tattoo? This is a backfire. This is the biggest backfire in the history of politics. There's Forgiato Blow right there. Stand up. This rapper has a Trump tattoo of this mugshot. That's a backfire, baby! My man, he's got this mugshot tattooed. It's massive. My wife wouldn't let me get one. I was going to get it. Tramp stamp. <laughs> Actually, we should force Tim Walls to get one of those after he loses. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that guy? Tucker Carlson's backstage. He has some takes on Tim Walls. Okay, here we go. Got any Christians in the audience? Here's the point. This is the point. What man intends for evil, God intends for good. And that's what happened here. It's what's been happening to our boy Don. This entire election cycle, they have tried to assassinate him. They tried political assassinations, Hillary Clinton, Russian dossier. They tried impeachment assassinations. They tried judicial assassinations. He's facing 400 years in jail. Some states tried to take him off the ballot. They tried to remove the capacity to vote for Donald Trump. That is itself a style of assassination. So when you vote Trump, vote twice as hard for those people that didn't want the democracy defenders that wanted to take him off the ballot. Ladies and gentlemen, then they tried literal assassinations. I see Brick Suit down here in the front row. He was there in Butler. But what? Man intends for evil, God intends for good. And what we ended up getting was something even more epic.
ladies and gentlemen. What we ended up getting was some sweet salt for our liberal friends. Eat the salt, lib. Ooh, baby. Hey, Kamala, would you like a side of lies with that? Kamala Harris lied about working at McDonald's. Anybody worked fast food? Anybody worked as a waiter? I sure did. Most Americans have. This is... What's up? Guys up there talk. Guys up there talking about special sauce. I got some special sauce for you, pal. It's the memes, baby. Oh, McTriggered. They can't stop the memes. Come on. You want some salt? We got your salt. Just change the sign already. Just change the damn sign. Listen. <laughs> you can do it. We can do it. I want to speak to the manager. <laughs> I don't normally break news in front of massive stadiums of people, but you all are just too beautiful. I was sent a very exclusive, very private screenshot of a photo of Kamala Harris on her birthday watching President Trump work the fries at McDonald's. Do you want to see it? No, it sucks. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kamala. This was not a great birthday present for you. Commander in beef. Come on. How do you beat this? You don't beat this. Trump fixed the ice cream machine. Trump fixed the... Trump worked at McDonald's for one day he fixed the ice cream machine, and now Joe Biden's wearing a MAGA hat. What timeline are we living in? This is the greatest timeline. I have played for you some memes today. That's not a meme. Joe Biden knows. It's all the ice cream machine, baby. Not a meme. A real photo. Who wants, who wants a commander in chief who's a servant leader? Because that's what this is. Christian servant leadership is putting on that apron when you're a billionaire, getting your hands dirty, getting some of that salt, some of that grease on your skin. Who's been there? I've been there. Working like the common man. You know what that does? That gives us dignity. It says we are all created equal. God did create all of us equal. There is no white or black America, red or blue America. There's just the United States of America. We're all together here. And we can all enjoy some delicious, salty, crispy fries served to us by our commander and chief. Donald Trump as a servant leader. That's why the libs are freaking out over this. They can't conceive of ever stooping down to our level, ever doing real work like the common man. This is why they're losing their minds, because they know how much this connects. It connected so much, in fact, that RFK Jr., who's backstage, said, he told me right before I went on, he said this would be the only time he eats seed oils is if Donald Trump served him fries at McDonald's. Powerful. What's the alternative here, exactly? So what's the other side offering? Somebody yelled, Christ is king, at Kamala Harris. And she said, and I quote, oh, you are at the wrong rally this week. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. If you believe Christ in, is king, you're in the right house tonight.
Christ is King. Christ is King. That's the difference. This is the difference, ladies and gentlemen. Any gun owners? Uh, what, what the hell, what the hell is going on with this guy? Can somebody explain to me, like, I get it that you're loading tampons into your shotgun, but you're not supposed to load your shotgun in your crotch? Are you trying to become a eunuch? Are these the free vasectomies I keep hearing about from the Democrat party? Is this how it happens? Maybe this is why he can, maybe this is why he can walk around like this all the time. <laughs> Good old tampon Tim. So total frauds. <laughs> do not start a tampon Tim chat. Do not do it. Although I will tell you, I will tell you, the, the greatest, the greatest self-control I've ever seen in my life is the greatest self-control I've ever seen in my life. That's the J.D. Vance section up there. The greatest self-control I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you know you're going to hurt his feelings, right? You know he has a $2,000 shotgun and he's never fired, right? That he didn't get a single bird. Anybody ever gone pheasant hunting? Anyone gone hunting? He didn't get a single bird. Didn't fire a single shot. Loaded the shotgun in his crotch. And used tampons, I think, to load the shotgun. Maybe that's the problem. They're fraudulent. They're fraudulent. They're offering you an ideology that hates Christians, that hates Christ, and want to blow your balls off, I guess, when you're uh, loading your gun. That's a bad... That's bad. Our guy is offering you crispy, salty deliciousness from McDonald's with a smile as he waves like a Norman Rockwell painting. Our side is bringing people together, including the man that's going to take us to Mars, including the man that's given everything for free speech. You want to talk about real joy, a campaign of joy? That's a campaign of joy right there. Our boy Elon. God bless Elon Musk. Look at this moment. RFK will soon be on stage. This, this is the movement of populism. Populism is popular. The reason why is because, correct me if I'm wrong, we're all Americans, damn it. This is our country. There's not going to be another one. We're Native Americans. We were born here. My granddaddies were born here. That means it's our country, and they have no right to destroy it. Populism means protecting our borders. Populism means putting America first, and there's only one motivation that you need, ladies and gentlemen, to carry through the day, and I'll, I'll share it with you. It's my motivation. It's my kids. This is my family. I got three kids, and that's my wife right there, Nurse Kate. We're pregnant with our fourth. We... We are going to repopulate America with patriots, baby. And it's never been easier. The left loads their shotgun in their, in, their, in their crotch. It's never been easier. I fight for my children. My children are Americans. They deserve this birthright. I fight for them. They're Americans. And a blessed generation leaves the country better off for their children. That's my motivation. That's what making America great again means. It means making America great for my American children. That's something worth fight, fight, fighting for, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we are going to do. And I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. All God ever asks for, he asked for this. In the Old Testament, Sodom and Gomorrah, it was a place that 
whew, they had had a very rough, bad go. And all God asked for, the angel of God asked for, is for good men and women to stand up. And he said, I will save your land. I will save your nation. Will you stand with me and be seen tonight by God to save America? May God bless you. It's your boy, Benny. We're going to win. The future of MAGA is here. For Giotto Blow. This shit is hot. Bitch, your president. 2024, we coming back. Coming back.